checking out a new event here today. Tons of people. Started a new 5K in Katanning. Got several hundred people supposed to run today. Pretty exciting stuff. It's called the uh, Run For Your Life. So I'm here with three of the race organizers. <laughs> uh, Lauren Bradigan, whom I know, and then two people that I don't. But these guys have a little bit of a story to tell for how this whole race came together. So, Lauren? Okay, so New Year's Eve last year, December 31st, 2022, I was shopping at Target and Butler with my daughter, Harper, who was 10 at the time. Vicki was shopping with her daughter, who was almost one at the time, and Alexi was shopping with her mom. <laughs> so we were all mothers and daughters at Target. None of us knew each other. Came up the aisle from toys to girls clothes and women's shoes and I heard a panicked target employee saying where's the AED I need the AED and I looked at Harper and I said leave the cart we gotta go walk up and I see Vicky laying on the ground and Alexi's kneeling next to Vicky and I said I'm a nurse what do you need unbeknownst to me Alexi had just prayed the prayer God I can't do this alone send me another nurse and I was that nurse that God placed in that time with wow. Alexi uh, Vicky initially had a, she had a pulse and then she stopped breathing. So if you stop breathing, but you have a pulse, you are supposed to initiate CPR, which is exactly what we did. So we flipped her on her back. I held her airway open, did a head tilt chin lift, got her airway open so she could breathe. And Alexi just started doing compressions. We got to about number 15 on her and she started breathing on her own. Wow. So I maintained her airway. We were trying to figure out who the heck she was because we didn't know her. At this time, Harper um, went over, my daughter went over, and Vicky was there with her daughter and started playing with Regan and just trying to keep, you know, herself occupied and, you know, play with this little girl and pray over this little girl. And we had to do another round of CPR because she stopped breathing again. We got her back the whole time we were waiting for paramedics to arrive, for that target employee to get us the AED. Um, when they brought us the AED, they did not have the patches attached, which you can't use an AED because you want those patches to put on so you can shock somebody back into a normal rhythm. And the AED is really easy. It tells you what to do. If you're ever in a situation where you need one, you push the button to power it on. The first thing it tells you is stay calm yeah, and just follow all the directions. It's foolproof, but it doesn't work if you don't have the patches. So kind of lost my mind, just screaming, where are the patches? I need the patches. <laughs> and at that moment, EMS rolled up, wow. put her on the defibrillator and she was shocked out of an abnormal heart rhythm um, and transported to the hospital. So that's quite a story. Yes. <laughs> how did that, I mean, uh, just from your perspective, uh, what all do you remember of all this? Anything? Or is so, this like... Actually, I don't have any memory from that day, uh, from actually days leading up to that and days after. So I kind of got all my information secondhand and, you know, piecing things together. Yeah. Um, and then, so I ended up intubated for a few days in the hospital, spent about a week in ICU, um, and then spent the next month or so... Um, teaming up with Lauren, I met Alexi, um, and getting the story about what happened to me. Being a nurse, obviously, I was, you know, I needed all of the details. Yeah. I, I need to know what happened to me. Um, and now we share this bond because these women saved my life, and I'm here today because of them. <laughs> then, fast forward, um, there were two nurses running a half marathon in Erie, and um, those nurses are here today. They're currently running because that's what Not they do. What <laughs> do that. Uh, Tabitha 
Bowser and Laura Overly, um, and there's actually a gentleman today running as well. His name is Greg. Um, so they're all running right now, but Greg collapsed, uh, went into cardiac arrest. He was having um, an MI, and those nurses, Laura and Tabitha, saved his life using hands-only CPR. They kept him alive for six minutes before EMS got to him and transported him to the hospital. Wow. So those girls knew Lauren. We all kind of teamed up and um, Lauren, Laura, and Tabitha kind of initiated all of it and said, we need to do something. We need to get the word out. We need to teach people that it doesn't take a nurse or a healthcare provider to save a life. But this is education. It can happen to anyone, anytime, anywhere. I'm in my early 30s. I'm essentially healthy. Um, you know, never in a million years thought I'd go into cardiac arrest stroll through Target with my daughter on New Year's Eve. And so we just really decided how can we give back? How can how can I how can I show my thanks for being alive and being here today? Let's um, organize a 5K and let's raise funds so we can educate the community. Oh my gosh, we have our first person across. Oh my gosh, we do. No sorry. way. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's no, so that's cool. Wow, how fast was that guy? <laughs> and raise oh. funds for CPR education so that we can get the word out to the community and we can teach more people the benefits of hands-only CPR. That's so awesome. That's why we're all here today. So I saw the like the CPR, like there's ambulances here, people yep. can practice, all yep. that kind of stuff. I don't like what what's your guys's do you want to keep doing this, I assume, every year or? Yeah. Um, actually, so we are all getting certified to become CP. Oh, and Alex is number two. Sorry. Okay, that's great. There's our sweet part. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Alex, I love you. Thanks for coming out. What are we going to do? Well, Andrew, what we're going to do is I'll become certified to teach CPR and spread awareness in the community and um, go on from there. So this is not the end of us. We just have to come up with a name for ourselves. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you'll, you'll hear. Well, it seems like a pretty good start. Several hundred people here. You got yeah. a lot of runners, and uh, oh, amazing. seems like it's a great event. Yeah. 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 Every so, thank you guys for number one, saving someone's life. That's pretty amazing. Right? And then number two, <laughs> Thanks, <guys. laughs> sharing the sharing the story with all of us, so we can be inspired to to know this stuff. Because, like you said, you just never know. Yep, you never, never know. You always need it. So. And anybody can do it. You don't have to be a nurse. That's the biggest thing we want to push: is anybody can do this. Yeah. Well, very cool. Well, thank you for sharing with me. Yeah, amazing absolutely. story and amazing event. Uh, thank you guys for what you're doing for the city. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Bye, guys. Got our coffee, got our candy, getting our donuts. Shout out to all the race organizers. Seemed like an awesome event. Uh, I didn't run because I, I don't really do that very often. But, uh, you know, running the drone is hard work. So thank you, Funky Monkey, Maple Bacon Donut. Got to get my calories back. Mm. So good.